it is an astounding observation that all religions claim to possess the word of God directly from God. We are using God here apologetically. And yet the Torah, the Quran, the New Testament are amongst the most ambiguous and the least persuasive books on earth. Welcome to this topic that involves every thinking and logical human being on the earth uh, today. Mystery or revealed religion. Which one is ours or yours? In this presentation, we are going to explore the major religions of the world which we are told were revealed by way of teasing them using another system. Mystery religions which are all about the truth, about ultimate transformation, about opening your eyes to all the potential that is on top of your shoulders in the whole universe. Revealed religions, on the contrary, are about old gods with the white beards that order you to kneel, to praise them, and to pray to them, and uh, therefore you are actually alienated from your potential. We have dealt with the definition of a religion in our video, what you must do to religion, which you can find on YouTube. However, in this presentation, we will explore, ask questions like what does revealed religions entail or what do they mean? Which one is yours? Because everyone follows a religion or everyone follows a system or a thinking system. Which one is ours and why do we choose that which we have selected? Let's start with a mystery religion first. A mystery religion is any system that allows a member to use applicable knowledge within a body of secret wisdom. It is usually driven by an inner core of beliefs, practices, logic, as well as practical applicability of the system in nature without destroying nature but building and benefiting from the cycles of nature. Members have to be initiated into that religion. You have heard of the Anyoto, the Leopard Man, a society from the eastern of Congo that operated between approximately 1890 and 1935. It is still operating. You have also heard of African spiritual signs like Voodoo and there is also positive and negative. These are examples of a mystery religions. Let's look at the characteristics of uh, revealed uh, religions. Of course, the examples of relief Revealed religions are Christianity, Buddhism, Islam, Shinto, Sikhism, Judaism, Hinduism, and Taoism, and many, many others. In revealed religions, their God personally revealed himself through an individual or a human, usually a human male, and they also have a holy book. The second characteristic of revealed religions is that no part of that religion is hidden. Almost everything the totality of that religion is open to scrutiny and everybody can check it out. Third, these revealed religions always claim to be the only true religions and they seek to convert other people by force, by hook or crook, subtlety or violence. What is the oldest religion in the world? They tell us. So all these other religions have a debt of origin. Yet there is an African or melanin dominant traditional religions which have no debt of origin or the name of a founder. So those are the characteristics that we have shown between revealed as well as mystery religions. In Christianity, God allegedly became incarnate in the person of Jesus Christ and directly communicated his message to humanity throughout his ministry on earth. His teachings were recorded and now can be read in a book that is called the Bible or specifically the New Testament. But Jesus didn't bother himself to write anything. He caused others to write. He was so evasive about his religion. So, is Christianity purely a book religion or a revealed religion? There are contradictions in his books proving once more that it's a man-made religion claiming by faith that it is revealed. And yet you can find a cultic set of mystery religion around it. For instance, why did Jesus preach in parables? Because in doing so, he was hiding 
something. That's what he claims. If you read in Matthew 13, 10, his disciples came to him and they said, why do you speak to them in parables? And he answered and said to them, to you it, is, it has been granted to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But to those people, it has not been granted thus. So, it's a mystery. Why? Because most Christians do not know that there are many Jesuses and many doctrinal strands that connect these Jesuses in the Bible. There's a Jewish Jesus as well as a Greco Roman Jesus. And today we know now there is a black Jesus that they are also promoting. It is this Jewish Jesus who always taught a mystery, a religion via parables. But on the other hand, as we have already indicated, we are told, for instance, if you read in Romans 1.20, he says the invisible attributes of this eternal power or this divine nature, so-called God, has been clearly seen being understood what has been made so that men are without excuse. So no secrets. And yet we have seen that Jesus was preaching in mysteries, was preaching in parables. So is Christianity a mystery or revealed religion or a combination of both? Which one is ours? Why did Jesus here uh, came to earth to save humanity at the same time taught in parables hiding the truth that could save men? Let's continue. In Judaism, God is personally revealed through prominent Jews like Moses, Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, Aaron and the high priests. On Mount Sinai, God personally provided Moses with the Ten Commandments and the Oral Torah. There is a problem there. He communicated and mediated with Moses. The words given to Moses were straight from the horse's mouth, so to speak. Are there mysteries in Judaism? Are there contradictions in the Torah? There shouldn't be contradictions in the Torah because God gave the Torah verbatim. Yes, there are contradictions in the Torah. Proving again that this is a story that was created and stolen by human plagiarists from another source. In Exodus 33 verse 20, God says, no one can see me and live. Yet in Exodus 24 verse 9 to 11, we have got a record that the 72 elders, including Moses, saw the God of Israel. And could describe him. He had feet, he had the eyes, he had a voice. He could walk. So it's a deity. We have already proved that beyond any reasonable doubt. So the Bible best religions, Islam, Judaism, and Christianity are all not purely a mystery or mystery religions. They are man-made religions, the corpus of which came from a mystery source. In John 1, 18, we are told no man has seen God at any time. This is inspired word of God. No man had seen God at any time. And yet in Exodus 33, Moses spoke to God face to face as a man speaketh unto his friend. In Genesis 32, 30, Jacob said, I have seen God face to face and my life is preserved. Yet we know he should be dead. He should never be existing. So we know that this God they are talking about is a deity, not the real creator. The oral Torah comes now. Why did he have to give an oral Torah? Why had why did he have more to say? A supplementary revelation. So it is clear that this oral Torah that you are talking about is no longer Torah oral. It's now a written Torah. So they don't have any orality. Only one religion is still running with orality. While formal traditional Judaism is not a mystery religion, they have a version of mystery religion that they run around with, which I saw from Africa. It is known as the Kabbalah, which is a mystic philosophy of the Jews a contemporary of hermetic philosophy. Once you say hermetic, it's kamitic. Came from ancient Africa. You go to this Africa is a walk, and you can see clearly that the sephirot tree of the Kabbalah, so-called gnosis or Greek gnosis of the Jews, which is still going on today, is actually a bastardization and a stolen aspect of our ancient divinities. That's the key. The divinities. Our sati, Guvu, all this, this is the structure. We go to this website and read about it because it's very, very critical and important that we explain these mysteries. In Islam now, 
the illiterate tribesman Muhammad encountered the angel Gabriel in a cave and, and to him was dictated the Quran, the word of Allah. So is this a mystery within a revealed religion? We know that the Quran is like a third Christian testament. Why? Because all the stories in the Quran can be read in the, most of the stories in the Quran can be found already written in other books, specifically the Torah and the Gospels. We hear that the, the, the Quran itself claiming that Muhammad was illiterate. But we also know that there is proof that Muhammad was not illiterate. So which is which? We are dealing here with a man-made, human-created religion that is empowered by force, fear, and war, and enslaving melanin-dominant human beings. Now, Allah states in the Quran that if Muhammad was literate, then the disbelievers would claim that he learned the Quran from other sources. There was a great wisdom in the prophet being illiterate. There's not, nothing, nothing amazing he, there. So it's a revealed religion, but it was sourced from a known source. Why was Allah so fond of Arabic? If the Quran is mankind's last revealed message, why couldn't Allah provide a Quran in every language? Was this an oversight or asking too much from a creator of the universe? But like Christianity, Judaism and Islam, they also have their own mystery side, proving that they were stolen from a mystery source. It's known as Sufism. You can read this book, Sufism, A New History of Islamic Mysticism by Alexander Knish. Semitic religions and yogic spirituality. You go to this source, Hindu view of Christianity, Islam by Ram Swarap, page 99. He says the following, very interesting. Prophetic Islam would have died from its own formalism and legalism, but Sufism saved it from this fate by importing into it some principle of warmth and internality. But in this association, it itself suffered a great setback. In fact, higher mysticism was incompatible with prophetic Islam and it disappeared soon enough. The Sufism that survives and even prospered was and promised to subserve prophetism. Read that and think about that very, very, very critically because it is very clear that Islam is nothing other than a man-made and crafted religion. Hinduism has avatars or gods who appeared periodically on the earth with a revealed message. There is no mystery about them. And their message was so difficult and so complex and they couldn't communicate it clearly. Why or how? We go to the Kushitic Kemetic spiritual science source to answer this question, why Hinduism and its avatars and its message were so cryptic. Because the Aryan Hindu is a cultural thief who is not only just as guilty as the Abrahamics, but predates them in his war and rape of the black race. Hinduism is a corruption of the proto andamanese original melanin dominant human spirituality. There is the picture of ancient black Buddha, ancient people where these religions were stolen, Hinduism and Buddhism. In Buddhism, there is no God. That's what they want you to, to think. But Buddha himself revealed the entirety of the Buddhist religion. Nothing is hidden from ordinary Buddhists. So there is no mystery there. There should never be any mystery. Trouble with Buddhism is that it simply doesn't amount to very much or anything. Contrary to popular belief, Buddhism is not a God-free religion. It is celestial beings. They call the divas. A diva, in Sanskrit written this way, and Pali, Mongolian Tencha, in Buddhism is a type of celestial beings who share the God-like characteristics of being more powerful, longer-lived, and in general much happier than humans, although the same level of veneration is not paid to them as to Buddhas. There, it's very, very clear. So, these religions, thousands of years now, have controlled humanity and have promised humanity that they have got access to the word of God. Why is there no peace on earth? Why is there no oneness of knowledge? Why does God communicate with different religions using different systems. What sort of God is he in this case? We have seen what revealed religions entail and mean. 
The question is, which one is ours? Which one is yours? And uh, why? It is within the mystery religions that we find the situation entirely different by its soberness and its ancient origins. And out of that, we know we have Ubuntu, a Bantu spiritual concept denoting the interconnectedness of all things and the beings in existence. Maati Ubuntu spiritual mystery is what is yours. You can follow all these other ones, no problem, but yours is Ubuntu Maati spiritual mystery. The complete religion of which we are discussing now, here, Maati Ubuntu spirituality, is not revealed to everyone. That's why a lot of people do not follow or search for it. You have to be selected to search for it. There are profound secrets and the promise of startling, life-altering revelations. So a lot of people are scared of even adventuring into it. Mystery religions do not provide convenient holy texts to all and sundry. One has to engage in a lifelong personal research in many, many sources. Mystery religions do not provide the answers to everyone. The answers must be worked out with you and for you by you and strictly reserved for those most dedicated and committed to it to receive the revelation. Mystery religions involve transcendental ceremonies that often assault and attack the senses in a deliberate but disturbing method. It is only when we decide to live this kind of life by using our mystery system that we can restore our divinity back to our mental throne. Our Ubuntu Maati linked mysteries and spiritualities has an unbroken ancestry and they are older than anything you can find on the earth in terms of thought process and as well as imagination and spirituality. They go way, way into the hoary past. It is a religion in the sense that can replace all religions. It is time for humanity to reject revealed religions and embrace Ubuntu Maati spiritual mysteries. Mystery or revealed religion? Which one is ours? I think the answer is clear. Mystery religions, which were main rivals of Christianity in the later Roman Empire and went underground and still exist today, is Ubuntu Maati spirituality, headed by our revered mother, Isisu. That's the way. Not Christianity, not Judaism, not Islam. If you want to learn more about these topics and many, many others, as well as contribute to cultural and spiritual congruence so that together we can resolve current and every future challenge. Get in touch with us via our email, join at marifado.com. Share this video, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Till we meet again, yours, Hamanaja Topi, Priest Yarabai, LM Tumizulukunke Mjaganja, Mskaban, saying, Tatenda, Siabonga, Salani Kathe, Asante Sana.